Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today we're going to show you how to install the PS3 system software update, how to download it for updating your PS3 or for the PS3 emulator. I did a video about a year ago. This is an updated version. A lot of you guys were having problems getting either Edge or Google to work. So we are going to show you a third option at the end. That'll be probably much easier for a lot of you guys, but you should try these two first. So we'll go ahead and start on Google. We're at the PlayStation.com upgrade screen, and I'll have that linked in the description. You wanna come in here and you wanna go down here and read this information. Uh, they tell you that it's an update to the PS3, of course, it was released 2.28.23. Video's a little late, but I've noticed a lot of guys are struggling with this, so, or a lot of you guys are struggling with it. You wanna make sure you have 200 megabytes of free space on either the PS3 hard disk drive or removable storage media. It tells you you wanna update for the latest versions and you need to update regularly to get a Blu-ray player inscription key. So it's just a way to that for them to get you to update it so what you want to do we'll start with google like i said you come down here to the uh, update using a computer you want to hit download the ps3 update or you want to right click and you want to save link as it'll pop up here's the latest update Save it wherever you want to, where you're going to remember it. So we'll just go ahead and save it to our downloads and hit save. Right here is the first problem a lot of you guys run into. You want to go ahead and click on the PS3 update. It's got a security block on it. Go ahead and put keep and it'll finish downloading the file. This is your PS3 update folder now if you want to update your ps3 you need to make a folder called ps3 inside that folder you need to make a folder with the capital update name and then put this inside that put it on the usb drive and stick it in your ps ps3 and you should be able to update it for the emulator you just need this version so that's how you do it with google We'll go ahead and show it in the folder. Pull this over here, right there it is. So now to go to Edge, you do the same thing. Go ahead and read the information here. Come down, update using a computer. Right click this, download PS3 update and click save link as. You'll get a pop up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it in downloads again. It'll probably ask us to overwrite the other one, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and say save. Now we're getting the same problem over here up in the corner. Can't be downloaded. You want to go over here, click the three little dots, and hit keep. Keep anyway. We know PS3 is a safe site to download. So there we have it. Go ahead and click the little file button here and look for it in our ps3 files and i'll drag this over so you can see it right down here it was highlighted there it is right there ps3 update here's the second version of it we just downloaded so it'll actually rename it so if you have an older version you might want to put it in a different folder if you have it in the same file so that's the two main ways now if you guys cannot get it with that method i have a third option for you i have uploaded it to my website uh, muttgeezer.com which i will have linked this site has a bunch of tutorials and stuff which i'm going to be updating a bunch more for college football revamped NCAA Basketball 10, which is 5.0 right now, and uh, Madden NFL Rebuilt. I have videos on those. I'll be putting out videos for other games and stuff. But you want to come over here to Downloads. 
I have all the files. Remember, I'm not affiliated with any of these modders or anything. I just enjoy their game and I'm trying to help people. So you want to come down here. I have the last four versions of the PS3 update right here. You just click on it. It'll bring you to the media file. You just right click this and hit download and you can download it. So that's three ways to do it. Um, on my website, like I said, if you want an older version, I have the last four on here. Like for the College Football Revamp PS3 emulator, I actually use 4.87 for the emulator I use. Uh, the basketball one, I used 4.89, so it doesn't really matter for the emulator. Just remember, if you want to update the PS3, you need to download the update folder or update file and save it in update in the update folder that you create up here. So you want to create a folder named PS3 on a USB drive formatted as FAT32. Inside that folder, create another folder named update. So this gives you all the information I gave you earlier. And then you'll put the file inside that update folder and plug it into your US, into your PS3. So this video helped you guys hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And uh, I got another channel, my geezer too. I'd appreciate subs there. I'm going to be doing different stuff with that in the future. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. We'll catch you on the next one.